Okay, so first off, this item right here, let's right click on it and say find in content browser. Okay, let me shrink up my content browser so you can actually see what it is. This is content browser. Anytime you want to get to this, let's take this for example, to toggle this on and off is this button right here. Okay. In content browser, you can see here is that static mesh. And you can also see there's a lot of static meshes in this little package. This is a package and the package is under neck buildings SM materials and mesh so if we right click on this you can say edit static mesh in static mesh editor you can also double click it also bring that up. Here I have the ability to kind of look at the item, zoom around the item, okay. really get an understanding of what it is. Here I have show wireframe, so this is the polygon makeup. Again, you can see, well you can see that this is a triangled model. Triangle models it basically was quad until you import it into the UDK and then the UDK triangulated it. You, know, you don't build items that are already triangled. Uh, if you do, it, that's a, it's, a, it's an okay workflow, it's just cumbersome. Okay. The, the engine should be the one responsible for triangulating your model. Here's the UVs for it. I also can see the collisions. Collisions make it so I can't touch it as far as or walk through it. Okay, so let's go further down the rabbit hole. What if I wanted to see the textures and materials to this? Well, if I go to level of detail, elements, material, I have this. And I can hit the spyglass and it'll go to the material. Now there's a couple different things you gotta know about material. There's material and the material instant constant. We'll get into material instant constant later. For right now, let's go to material. This is the material that is on it. If I double click it, you can see that I get a ball and I get this where I left click I can zoom around if I middle mouse button uh, wheel mouse in and out I can zoom in and out so this is what's making the actual texture happen on that top of the model this is a material so they're static meshes static meshes have a material on them and then the material contains a great deal of textures and command nodes. Okay, so uh, let's close this out. Along with that material, here's the texture for it. And you can see that the texture looks a lot different than the actual material itself. This has some big huge bumps in it. Um, it looks 3D and that's because if you look at this, it's also made of several maps. So they got this, another map that runs another show. This is a normal map. And then we have a few things that bump the normal map out even further. So if you double click the texture, you can now look at the texture. Again, all very, very important things because let's think about how how would you color something like this in Photoshop or what package would you use to make this? You got to ask yourself those questions as you go through this. So 
So all these maps are contained inside this material. Lastly, if you take an item, right click on it, say find in content browser, and then find package, there is Now there was an option in here that allowed you to see exactly where this was coming from. Hold on. Hopefully they didn't take that out. There's been a lot of changes to the UDK. Well, what this used to do is take and show you exactly where it's at on your hard drive. But let's just explore that a little further. And let's go exploring the hard way. Let's go to computer, C drive, UDK, here. And this is where it gets a little fun. So usually what I do here is the package is called neck buildings. So if I type in neck, here's neck buildings. It's important to know all this stuff. I mean, really, if you think about it, you know, this is, these are all models. And these packages hold the models into place. So if you could think of this as a zip file per se, it would have the building, the model, the textures, and everything else in here. And these package files are very important. We're going to be making a package file actually of our own construction here in a little bit. You can store package files anywhere on your hard drive. If you store them here, however, uh, it loads quite fast. Um, you have to reload them all the time if you store them somewhere else. But it's important to store them somewhere else also because it, it's just easier to reference every week. Alright, so now that we can see you know, how, how deep the rabbit hole goes uh, as far as the static mesh is concerned, uh, let's move into the next video where I can show you some more.